Hello everybody and welcome back to Sunshine Islands. You can see that I have worked very very late into the morning on the last day of summer and when I go to bed it will be the first day of fall. So I thought I would just wait before going to bed so that we can say a proper goodbye to the doctor. And then of course tomorrow we will once again be having Popery and Karen visiting the islands for the duration of fall and winter. And we won't actually have to wait until next summer to see Doctor because he should be coming into town to help us with the birth of our baby later on in this month. So that is one thing we're going to be able to look forward to in the fall season. And let's just look at our calendar here as a refresher. You can see that it's not quite as busy as the summertime. We still do technically have a festival a week sort of thing spread throughout our calendar. But of the five festivals on our calendar, we only have the potential to win wonderfuls at three of them. So we have the cow festival on the 5th, we have the dog festival on the 16th, and then we have the fall crop festival on the 28th that we will have opportunities to get some wonderfuls from. And then if we want to take part in the Harvest Festival and the Pumpkin Festival, we are free to do so. But those are more or less just for fun than anything else. We've got a few birthdays here on our calendar to be looking out for. But for the most part, there's not a whole lot that's going to be going on. I hope it's going to be a great month for my crops. I hope I'm going to be able to grow a lot of stuff. Last night, I went into my fridge and I took out what fall crops I had left over from last year. And you can see that I've actually gone ahead and I've made all of the seeds that I'm going to need to start planting things. And I've actually made more than this. I've just gone ahead and stored some in my toolbox. So I've actually gone ahead and I've made more yams, more spinach, and more carrots if I need them. And that saved me all of that money purchasing those seeds from Chen. I didn't have to take that step and do that. And then I can just go right ahead at the start of the day and plant these right away. I got rid of all my summer crops yesterday. I cleaned up the field. You can see that there's a few weeds that have uh, come in and sort of invaded and uh, undone some of my progress here, but it won't be too hard to fix this up. So I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to plant everything except for my yams. And the reason I don't want to plant my yams is because fall tends to be pretty rainy. And I've gone ahead already and I've asked Tara what the weather is going to be like for the next few days. And I think if I were to plant my eggplants today, they might die. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plant them tomorrow. I'm going to wait a day. But everything else in this season really loves the rain. They love drinking up all that water. So I think it's pretty safe to sort of plant everything else. So today is a good day just to get the farm started. All the animals are indoors because it's raining, of course, so I'll just have to go in and feed them, which isn't too much of a commitment. And I don't have to water, obviously, which is great. And I'm trying to debate whether I want to plant my eggplants just all in a row or if I want to do uh, two in a column which is kind of what I normally do. 
Hmm. Maybe I'll just do what I normally do. I don't know why I plant them in columns rather than rows. Like I, I like to do them in like a four, a four square block rather than a, a big row. Don't ask me why. I have no idea. Uh, I'll probably save these three areas here for yams because yams are another uh, crop that will replenish every few days. And then what I'll probably do is I'll save the top a couple of squares for our spinach and our carrots. I think that sounds like a good plan. And again, I'm just starting out with two. I'm not putting everything out here all at once, just in case something happens and uh, we need to replant them. So maybe we have a storm or I am not paying attention to my watering points and you know, something dies. The only thing I planted all at one time was my eggplant. I do find that they take a while to come in anyways. So I don't think I'll have a problem with those. All right, so that already ate up a ton of time. It's already noon. So I'll probably stick around the farm here so that I can get my lunch from Witch Princess. But because the animals are all indoors, I'm gonna have to just feed them. The only animal that's not in is my horse because I can never find it. It would have been really helpful if the horse had the same icon on your map as your dog and your cat. But the horse just runs everywhere and sometimes I just can't find it for the life of me. So I gotta get my chickens away from these eggs so I can grab them. Oh my god, move chickens. I don't know why they all laid eggs like on top of each other. And I am also out of chicken feed and it's Saturday today, so I can't go buy more. That's not good. Well, I guess two of my chickens are gonna be hungry. It won't kill them, but I do feel a little bit guilty that I wasn't keeping very good track of their food. And this I can probably put the sickle to and get a little bit of extra fodder because it's going to be raining so much in this season. That grass is probably going to uh, grow pretty quickly. So I should probably be cutting some of it down and storing the extra fodder because if it's raining, I also can't let the animals outside. And if you leave mature grass out for too long, it actually can die if it receives too much sun or too much water. And this will also be the last season that I can uh, chop down that grass in order to make fodder before the winter time comes. So that'll be something else I'm gonna have to just keep my eye on as I progress through. Um, I'm just looking at all of my <laughs> space here in my rucksack. It's not very well managed. I'm gonna have to dump some stuff out in order to come back and shear my sheep. I didn't quite get everything managed by bedtime yesterday. I was basically struggling to go and make sure that all the animals were inside and that I had watered my trees because I had kind of forgotten and it was almost midnight so the last day of a season and the first couple days are always so busy not that I mind I can kind of afford to stay up late at this point it's not the end of the world 
All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I forgot to turn my corn into corn seeds, so I'm gonna do that. That'll clean up my inventory a little bit. And I will make some cheese, probably. I'll make some mayonnaise, and then when I go into my house, I can store my seeds, get my lunch from Witch Princess, and sort of just carry on. I have to go up to the orchard today and check on my trees. It never ends. Oops. And now I'm screwing up all my items. I've kind of been too lazy to keep all of my eggs Sep in separate stacks. I'll generally leave the S quality egg alone and I'll kind of make an effort not to bundle it in with the rest because obviously the more eggs you bundle the less you'll get in quality and normally what I've been getting are two B quality eggs, an A and an S. So when I put the A quality in the bundle of uh, B quality eggs it gets decreased to B but honestly, at this point, it's not like I really, really, really need that money. That extra little bit of cash I get from an A quality egg versus a B quality egg. So call me lazy, but I have still been doing well with the animals, I feel. I've been trying to take good care of them and... I've been storing some eggs and milk and then using them in the makers as well. I'll just go ahead and empty out my rucksack a little bit here. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, all right, that looks pretty good, but we're missing a block of cheese to go into our bin. Let's see what she's gonna make us today. Looks very green. Almost looks radioactive. Uh, what did you make us? A pickle. What? Ha All right. Thank you? Can you imagine being a farmer, waking up at like the ass crack of dawn, working your ass off, and then going home and being like, oh honey, what's for lunch? I'm starving. I've literally worked like eight hours today. And she's like, a pickle? <laughs> uh, a solitary pickle? I can mash it up in a bowl if that makes it look, you know, like more food. Anyways, it's Harvest Moon. It's not real life. It doesn't matter. Sometimes I just think it's funny to think of the scenarios that happen in some of these games and then to sort of apply it to real life and then, you know, it just feels so ridiculous. It's okay, Witch Princess. I'm not actually mad at you. It doesn't matter. I'll probably just end up shipping it anyways. Alright, so I'm gonna put those corn seeds away and as you can see I've got a little bit of everything come next summer, I've got a little bit of everything come spring, and then I still have plenty of fall seeds to use and to get through, which is fantastic. So next thing I'm gonna do is head on up to the orchard because the days of peaches and bananas are behind us and we are going to start getting grapes and apples as well. So I find that the fall fruits are going to come in quite a bit less frequently than the summer fruits and I think that's just because they need a lot more water 
and a lot more sunshine. I don't know why, but the fall trees tend to just take a lot longer to grow in general. The amount of time it takes to grow an orange tree versus a grape tree is almost probably double. I mean, I don't have the exact numbers, but we grew an orange tree in what was essentially a season, whereas this grape tree is only in its second stage and it probably won't come in until the spring. So we probably won't have as many fruits at the end of the season as we did in summer, but we're gonna have to see how we do. I think it's still possible that we're gonna get a really good start on the amount of fruits shipped. And I am hoping that we will be able to still get our fruit sunstones in two years time. I don't think that's a really unrealistic goal. We might be looking at three years, but I've planted enough trees that I was hoping to at least uh, be as efficient as possible in that regard. Oh, we got some decent stuff from the monkeys. We got uh, seven pieces of material stone, which is great. That can go towards our tree fences. We've got a few pieces of lumber to go into our shed. Not a bad haul. Still, of course, hoping for some more golden lumber, but I can't be greedy, really. I just have to keep feeding the monkeys and see what they bring me. They have been really, really good to me. I can't complain, really. All right. So I think I've pretty much covered everything that I wanted to do today. I fed my pig twice yesterday, so I don't have to go to Mushroom Island. I'm not gonna have a ton of time for socializing today, but that's to be expected on the first day of a season. It gets to be quite busy. And I could probably just eat my own food. I've got lots in my inventory, but I'm gonna talk to Nick and get myself something to eat. And then I'm going to go back home. I will finish the day off screen. Like I'll play a little bit more and finish up the day, but I think that pretty much covers just the start of the season. Planting all of our stuff and looking at what the orchard is going to do. Our rice should be ready probably by the end of the week but it is not ready quite yet. So we are still waiting on everything up in our rice patty. And so we're gonna just see how things uh, go on as we continue. Now, I've only got three days worth of playtime before we are coming up to our cow festival. So I'll probably just play off screen for a few days here and we will check in on the fifth for the cow festival. We do have a cow with 10 hearts. And uh, we only got second last year. For some reason, I thought we got first. But anyways, I guess this will be possibly our first uh, gold winning year for the cow festival, which is exciting. And I just noticed my assets. Um, I didn't ship a whole lot today. I shipped some animal products and some fruit and you can see that I made almost $10,000. So fruit really is a great money maker and I can't stress enough how much more profit you make off of your animal products if you put them through the maker. It really is worth it. I have to remember to go and share my 
sheep as well. So yeah, I've still got stuff to do, but that's pretty much it for the beginning of the fall season. I hope it's going to be a good one and uh, we'll see how things go. So thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.